Hello everyone, welcome back. This is the second part of the uh, modeling of this cart. Okay, so in the first part we have just finished uh, all these things. So if you haven't watched the first part, uh, I will add the link in the description. So please go ahead and watch that and then come for this video uh, so that it will make sense for you. Okay, so <clears throat> in the previous part we just created this much. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to select all these guys and create a group by pressing Ctrl G. Okay. And then I want to just push all these things up. So um, we want to create the rest of the things just below it, right? So uh, I'm just going to push this a little bit forward. So because I generally keep the uh, grid as the ground space, so we need to make sure that it's a little uh, raised from there, okay? So that we'll have the space to create uh, the rest of the uh, parts here, right? So now uh, I want to have uh, the base here okay and then from the base shape we will just build the rest of them okay so I'm gonna use a cube again here so let's go to create polygon primitives cube okay so let's uh, go to the side view and make it a bit bigger okay so that's going to be the body area so I'm gonna choose the move tool pull it up and uh, I'll need to be keeping it uh, longer so that uh, it fills the entire space here so let's just do that I'm just gonna select all these guys and move him so that they place exactly there good can be a little bigger no problem uh, I'll also check the front view uh, to have the same size as this one so let's say somewhere there looking good fine so this is basically what is going to be inside and we won't be actually seeing this we need to build uh, the rest of the things that is going to be outside this okay so let's go ahead and create another cube so let's say create polygon cube okay so these are going to be the pillars uh, which will basically connect the bottom portion to the cart okay uh, I forgot one thing here I can actually make a duplicate of this guy uh, to fill the back side here so just push that here and I'll just make it a bit bigger so that it fits in um, nicely so let's just push it in We'll keep him a little bit up, okay, and maybe a bit bigger. Okay, so let's just push this all the way to the top, okay. Make sure that it's not going to be visible outside. Now, if you want to do some fancy uh, looking things here, you can also do that. Okay, so if we have time at the end, we can create those shapes. Okay, so next thing that we want is we want these pillars here. So let's say, uh, let's select this guy get a bit bigger okay and uh, I want this uh, top area to be a bit smaller and the bottom to be a bit bigger so let's just do that press uh, W to get the move tool pull it up and I'm actually going to keep this somewhere here in one side and I also need to bring him here so I think I'll make him uh, totally a bit smaller and maybe a bit taller Okay, um, now it needs to actually go inside, not this much out, so like so. Okay, maybe a bit more smaller too, and taller. Okay, so um, I think that looks good. Maybe I can just give a little bit of angle here, so, so this guy, move him like so. And maybe do the same thing here also. Just do that. Okay. That's nice. We need to uh, add a little bit more detail here. So let's just select all these um, uh, edges and shift right click and choose bevel edge. And that'll basically add a nice um, extra detail there to make it more uh, squarish. Okay, we'll add. One division should be fine, I think. We'll just press three to see how that looks. Okay, uh, we need to add a couple of more divisions uh, in the top and the bottom. So press four to see that. Okay, or if you want, you can actually uh, add the bevel to the bottom and top also. But now it's too late for us. We'll just go ahead and choose Inset Edge Loop Tool. We'll add one right here, maybe just one more here. And I'll do the same thing here. So one and two okay 
So you could have also done the extrude there, so that will also keep those guys closer there. So let's just press 5, and that's exactly what we wanted. Perfect. Okay, so now I can actually make this duplicate, Control D, and then I can actually go ahead and choose the x-axis scale to be minus 1, so the duplicate comes to the other side, which is perfect. Okay, now what I can do is I can select these two guys and make sure that you're in object mode and control G to make a group and now I can make a, a duplicate of that control D and I can actually change this time the Z axis to be minus one so we get those copies coming here okay so now uh, this side we can actually bake it a bit thicker so I'll just choose both of these guys and make them thicker bigger basically okay but I don't think I should move his position to the different location so I can actually select these guys move them back to where they were okay do the same thing here okay. and they can actually be short instead of being so tall okay now this guy needs to be a bit smaller because it doesn't need that big space there and I'll actually create this outside area separately so not a problem and it can be smaller like so okay so now we can actually build uh, the uh, bottom area here Okay, this is just for the inside shape. We will just tweak it later. And I'm just going to basically create another cube. Okay, so this one is going to be placed in the side. And I actually want to have some kind of um, uh, modification here. So what I'll do is I'll actually add a couple of divisions here. So let's go down. Okay, so height division we can actually have. Um, maybe three okay and we want to have some depth also okay something like that we can actually start with less number of divisions which is easier so if needed we can just add them later not a problem so I'll just keep these guys like so okay and I'm actually going to make these bottom ones a bit smaller Okay, we'll continue to do the same thing, like so. And I actually want to keep these guys a bit like so, and both these directions. Okay, and even the top ones can be a bit more uh, projected outwards. Okay, so this is the front, so I just want this uh, to be a bit more um, projected towards the front side, so keep it like so. So let's check and we can actually bring this to one of the sides. We can actually make one side and the other side is going to be a duplicate of that. So um, we'll just keep this a little bit up. Okay. That looks perfectly fine. So now uh, I just want to make a bit more tweaks here. So just for the bottom area, I'm going to just push this up. I'm going to create um, a shape here. So uh, I'll just do that and should be fine I guess okay something like that okay that's fine now we just want to add some bevel here so let's just double click that double click that double click that double click that that's all of these shape I will also select uh, these four corners because they also need to be soft here okay and probably I'll do the same for the inside ones also. So I'm actually double clicking to select all the edge loop. Now I'll choose bevel here. So let's say go to fraction, make it maybe 0.3. Okay, and I'll add the segments to be two or three should be fine. And press three, just see how that looks. Okay, that's fine looking smooth now I just want to add a couple of more here now if needed we can actually make this a bit smaller because I think that's 
um, a bit too bigger. Okay. And I just want to add these guys also to put a little bit bigger, like say. Okay. Starts to look good. If I press three, that's smooth and nice. Okay, so now I want to continue on building a similar shape down here. So we just want to have uh, one more piece down here. So uh, it's like uh, two different pieces of uh, wood uh, getting the shape. Okay, so I'm going to duplicate this, just bring it down, and I can actually flip, I guess. So let's say um, for y axis scale, I'm just going to give minus to whatever we have. Okay, so we get something like that, that's perfectly fine. And I just want to tweak these shape. Okay, so here we go. Just um, make the negative shape of whatever we have there. And this can actually be too close. It does not have to have a lot of space there. So I'll try to keep them as close as possible. Okay, so this is just a fancy design thingy that I'm doing. So if you don't like to do like this, you can actually uh, make it with the same uh, single piece, not a problem. So you can also make it with four pieces or so five pieces. <laughs> That's totally up to you. Okay, so we'll just keep uh, the bottom area to be flat. Okay, so we'll just get that like so. Okay, so that's looking good. And I actually want to have a little bit of extension from here to make the, uh, the front area that is going to be touching the ground. Okay. Now, if you think it's too big, you can also push it up. We also need to consider the entire size of the cart uh, to make sure that it's uh, looking nice, all of them together. Okay, now I think I might have to add one little piece up here. We can do that, no problem. Okay, so now actually this this uh, guy can actually do an extrude here to, to make the, um, f uh, the basic frame. Or we can actually do that uh, as a separate piece. Okay, so <clears throat> uh, at this point I think it's time to add the wheels so that we will exactly know uh, how much space we will need to make the rest of the uh, cart okay so I'm gonna make the wheel to be around this size okay and it can actually have the center center point here otherwise the the whole cart will become too big so I'm gonna have um, the cylinder okay so we'll just rotate that cylinder 90 degrees let's make it bigger Okay, and um, I'm actually going to start from the center area, so just make it like so, push it somewhere here. So this is where the wheel is going to start, so I'm going to pull it out. Okay, so this is the center area. Uh, from here, we need to make the uh, rest of the wheel. So uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually start from uh, creating the uh, extrude first. So let's say if I start from here, so I think I'm going to count two, okay? And then I'm going to leave two empty, okay? And then I'll extrude these two, leave two empty, extrude these two leave to empty, extrude these two, leave to empty, extrude these two. So we have exactly two of them left. And then that will basically become the extrude here. So that's good. Now I can actually make this a bit smaller. Okay, so I'm just scaling it in one axis, Oops. like so. We can just this out like so and I'll also do a little extrude here oops might have to do a little uh, tweaking here just to make that 
shape come out well so I'll select these vertices okay and scale them out but we're gonna just do it with one axis like so perfectly fine now we can actually tweak uh, this shape that is in, that we have inside so let's just select all these faces oops select these faces make sure that you're not selecting anything that is from the other side okay just that okay and I'm going to do some extrude here so let's say extrude and I'm gonna pull it out and make it a bit smaller keep it like so make one more extrude and make it smaller like so push it slightly out then one more extrude pull it out one more extrude make it smaller and then one more last extrude this time it's going to be pushing it inside okay so whenever it is required we can actually add a bevel or anything just to make the shapes uh, look the way we want it I'm going to add a fraction of 0 0.3 0 0.2 we can add two segments there okay and we can actually press 3 to smooth it and see how that looks that's perfect and <clears throat> I'm just going to do some extrude from here so um, these pieces are basically going to get attached to the bigger circle that we're going to create now so I'm actually going to make one more uh, cylinder so let's go ahead and choose uh, create polygon primitives cylinder rotate it 90 degrees actually we could have made this duplicate before so that could have been a bit more easier but it's okay so let's rotate 90 degrees now we need to place in exactly the center so what we can do is we can actually use something called point snap here so that will basically snap it to the center point here so that way we make sure that it is exactly in the center so now we can actually scale it like so push it uh, I'll turn off the point snap here now so let's keep it like so I'm gonna scale in um, just like that press 4 and I can actually get rid of uh, the cap division so that we will end up with just that shape okay so I can also delete the faces that we have inside so both of them right I choose the face all of them basically extrude and I need to actually pull them out to get the positive otherwise it will become black so let's do that that's basically creating the thickness here and I can make it smaller to fit the size that we have here so let's say just that much okay and uh, that's just the basic shape there I will actually make it a bit thicker good now if you want to have more number of spokes you can also do that you can either uh, create just cubes and just put them here or you can um, extrude based on the number of pieces that you want uh, any way you like so I'll go ahead and choose double click to select all of them extrude and this time it's going to be a little bit of extrude and I can just uh, select all these guys and select all these guys okay so extrude face and just pull it out okay press 3 to smooth it out okay and I need to just add some more divisions here so let's say press 3 sorry press 1 and let's go ahead and add a bevel here so make the fraction to be 0.3 and segments to be 3 and so there we go press 3 and then you get that result okay so let's go ahead and check this guy see how him looks okay uh, it's not matching up uh, from the inside that's because we don't have enough divisions there so what I'll do is I'll actually add some more divisions here select actually we can just select these faces by going to face select one two one two one two 
one, two, one, two. I'm pressing shift key to make sure that I'm selecting all of them, right? So press four here and let's do an extrude here. So let's just push this all the way out. Oh, that's a little, okay, no problem. We can still work on it. I'll do one more extrude, push it out, and this time we're gonna make it smaller in all sides, okay? There you go. Now, what we need to do is one last step. We're gonna select all these vertices. So one, two, three, four, and five. We're going to use scale tool. This is perspective. And I'm gonna scale just here. Okay, so we need to make sure that it's actually going inside. That is perfectly fine. Okay. Oops, not like that. We need to make it do like this. Press three and that's the result we get. Now I think it's, um, the wheel is still too thin and maybe we'll have to add some divisions here also. So let's go ahead and select these guys. Uh, I'll go to vertex, select, sorry, I'll go to edge. Okay, select these edges, these edges, these edges, these edges. Okay, shift right click, connect components. So that adds one there. I'm gonna do the same for these guys. So one, two, three, four, five, okay. Shift right click, connect components. There you go. Perfectly fine. Press four to see exactly what we're doing here. So let's say one, two, three, okay. And then four, five, and then connect components, there you go. So let's say, press three. That's perfect, so that's our final result. And if you want to, you can actually just push these guys a little bit inside by just going to these faces, extrude, and we can make it a bit more thicker. So that is just for adding a little bit thickness. Uh, but otherwise that's perfect and fine. Okay, so now the other side is actually looking here. So what I can do is I can just select uh, these faces. So select these faces here. Oops. Okay. okay. So I can select these faces here, which will select some faces in the other side, which we don't want. Extrude, make it smaller. Now sometimes when you have a lot of objects like this, it might get confused. Uh, just be really clear about which one you're extruding. And it will make the change of making a good model and making a bad model. So make sure that you're choosing the right ones when you do extrudes and stuff. So next thing that we want to do is we'll go ahead and select these two guys, so let's say one, shift select this one, control G to make it as a group, and we can actually do something called modify center pivot, so that we get the pivot point in the center, that will make things easier for us if we want to animate later. Once that much is done, we can actually move all these guys up. So that looks good. So now we can actually make a copy of this to the other side. So I'm just selecting the entire object. Okay, go to modify center pivot. So that brings it to the center, good. And we need to make a duplicate to the other side. So before that, I just want to make sure that the pivot point is at the center. So I'll press insert key and we can use X to grid snap. That's perfect. Okay, so we need to do the duplicate. I'll press control D to make the duplicate and scale X is going to be minus one. So that pushes to the other side. Okay, we need to do the same thing for these two guys. So I'll select both of them, control D. Um, these cases, we can actually push it uh, to the other side. Just like that. Okay, so everything looks good. Now, just for fancifying things, I just want to add one more little piece here. So let's say uh, I want to add a cube. 
Okay, so this is going to be uh, long. Okay, just long, 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 long. And I just want to push him up to the outside here. And we need to make him short like so. Take him all the way there. Okay, so it needs to be just about that. There you go. Okay, but needs to be a bit bigger. There you go. So I just want to make a couple of changes here. So let's say go to vertex, just select this, just to get the same shape as what we have here. So something like that and something like this. Okay, so we're going to apply a bevel to all these edges. So I'm going to select all the edges and shift right click and choose bevel edge. There you go. So we're just going to add segments of two. Okay. That's perfect. Press three. So that's going to be smooth. And I'm going to turn off uh, this so you can see what's actually happening here. Now I'm going to add something that looks like nails. So I'm going to create a sphere for that. Okay. Now, because it's going to take a lot of space uh, in our memory and the size of the file, we're going to reduce this subdivision axis to something like eight. Okay, or even less. I'm just going to keep it eight. Let's see how that comes out. And I'm going to delete one side, okay, one half. So we just have this. I'm going to rotate it uh, exactly 90 degrees. Actually, nine, minus 90 degrees. So we get that. And I'm going to push it up all the way here. And we need to make it smaller. So it needs to be going here. And I'll have to make it smaller. Actually, much smaller. So we'll keep it something like that. Okay, so I'm just going to make more copies of this. So we'll just start from here. So from there, let's say Control D, that is one. And then I'll choose Shift D to get it in the same spacing. So uh, if it is the, if the edges is not matching up perfectly fine, what we can do is we can actually um, select all of these. So let's say select all these, then deselect the other ones. We can actually adjust the position here. So that just adds a little bit more detail there. Okay. So if you want to have uh, similar to that, you can also have one more copy down here just to fancify the look. Okay. And uh, right here inside what we want is we want uh, just these guys to become a bit smaller inside like so and find the back also can be a bit pushed inside and we can actually add a similar appearance like this so uh, it could be another cube okay we're gonna make this go up here let's make it taller okay and uh, we'll actually make the entire shape and then we will rotate so let's choose the scale tool make it longer to fit that much space okay and push it up like so okay I'm gonna add a couple of divisions here Go down to width and add something like that. Four should be fine. Height divisions will have uh, two or three. Depth, maybe not needed depth. Okay, so uh, I'm just gonna go up to all these sides. So double click here, double click here, double click here, double click here. We're gonna ignore the back side for now, no problem. Uh, I'm just going to give a bevel here so that applies something like that. So. Not too much, maybe just a little bit. And we'll add segments here. Okay. And then once we got that, we can actually go to edge. Um, and I'm going to go to vertex actually. So let's just select this. And actually, I can select all these four and make them like so. Okay. And then finally, uh, fine tween these shapes here.
Okay, so looks like a wooden piece. Okay, good. Press four, press three. That's gonna look like that. And I need to make uh, one more copy of this. I think uh, I should have reduced the bevel a bit less. It's not very sharp. Let me see if I can add more details here. I'll add an edge loop right at this end, one at this end. Now let's see if it's making it more sharper. Press three. Yeah, that's much nicer. Okay. Uh, now when we add the textures, we can actually add more details uh, to make it look like a wooden piece. For now, I think that's fine. Okay. I'll make one more copy of this. We can actually look at the side view to make sure that we get the exact shape that we wanted. Okay. So this one is actually going to have uh, the opposite shape. select these guys and it's gonna have some kind of deformation here so okay so that it doesn't look like exact copy but also it looks fine okay so I think the last thing that we need to do now is the, um, the stand that is going to be in the front okay so for that we're going to uh, I'll actually duplicate these guys to the other side so let's see we'll select all these make sure that we're in shape mode press ctrl G to make it as a group which actually brings the pivot point to the center and now I can just duplicate and um, I'll give minus one here for x-axis so that brings it exactly to the other side um, but it's not touching it so I'm gonna just select this guy modify center pivot then bring him to make him touch okay so that both sides look the same now if we want we can also make a copy of this and then bring it down control d then bring it down all the way to this area that is that is going to add a bit more detail here so let's say push it like so okay so now I'm going to go to vertex, I'm going to select all these vertices, push them inside, push these in. Okay. So I'm going to select all these. We'll have to make a duplicate to the other side. Edit, duplicate and minus one for x-axis. So let's check if it is placed where we want it. There's a little bit of gap, so what we can do is we can go to modify and choose center pivot to bring the pivot point to the center, and then we can actually push it slightly inside. Okay. That's good. So one last thing that is going to be the um, the front um, foot. So for creating that, we're going to uh, use a cube again. So create polygon primitives cube. So pull it up. So it's going to basically start from here. So it might be longer, but we're not going to show that. We'll go to vertex, bring these guys out. Okay. And we will do an extrude from here. So let's say extrude. And this is going to go straight down. So let's just say right rotate. Then bring it down. This has to be touching the ground here. So let's say. We can go ahead and choose the grid snap and make sure that's touching the grid. This one is also touching the grid. And we can actually have a little longer space if we want. So I'll turn this off, okay. Go to vertex mode, select this guy, move him like so. Now we can actually modify um, and decide what kind of shape we want to have, okay. So I'll just go ahead and choose 
the edge, select all these edges, uh, connect components, so that adds the edge loop here. So let's just pull this out, okay? Now, if you want, you can also create a curve and then uh, shape it accordingly. That's up to you. Um, there are so many choices, so many ways that you can do this, and depending on what kind of result you want, you can work on different stuff, okay? So I'm gonna make it a bit thicker here. Okay, I'll add one more here. So let's select all these edges, connect components, just select that, move him out like so. I wanna add um, edge loop here. So let's say one edge loop here, that's perfect. Now, if we want, we can actually add, uh, I'm going to double click on this edge to select all the edges, okay? And then we have something called slide edge tool. Um, slide edge tool is here, so we can actually move the position to a different place. Okay, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna actually select these faces and do a little extrude here uh, to create uh, some kind of um, thickness there. So let's press three, see how that looks, perfect. So again, we don't want it to be smooth. We want it to be um, more like a boxy shape. I'm gonna add an extrude here just to make that to be thick and strong there, good. Now I'll just go ahead and double click on this, double click on this, double click on this, double click on this. That selects everything. Uh, I need to also include this guy and this guy, okay? Shift right click and choose people edge and I'll give a little more, okay. Good, we wanna have two, I think that should be fine. We'll press three to smooth it out. Yes, that's perfect. That's exactly what I wanted. Now you can either have just one, which will also be fine, or you can have two. So uh, we can just, if you wanna have two, you can actually make uh, one of these guys go to one side uh, either it can be here or I think it can be just inside That looks much nicer. I'm gonna make a duplicate to take it to the other side <clears throat> Now if you want the duplicate to be exactly in the same distance you can uh, make the pivot point to the center and then duplicate it Or we can just manually do this Okay, so uh, this completes this tutorial of uh, creating a fancy looking cart, okay? Uh, we can still modify further. You can add more details if you want. You can actually add a nameplate here, um, whatever kind of changes that you want to do. So thank you so much for watching. If you have watched till this much, that means I think the video is useful to you. So if you like it, please go ahead and hit the like button for the video and uh, subscribe to the channel for getting more uh, videos and uh, good luck.